Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day. Today is May 22nd, 2017, and it's time to get aesthetic. If you're new to this channel and you like my content, please subscribe. Be the first one to see my latest content by hitting the notification bell. I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, so today is Monday. I was supposed to be doing fasted cardio, but since I did hockey yesterday, I'm feeling really sore. Like my abs are really sore, my obliques especially. So I probably will be training abs today, but not as crazy. Um, my old school ab routine that I'm gonna be doing. But I'm still gonna be training full body because Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is full body. Thursday is just gonna be cardio. Friday, obviously I'm not training. Um, because that is one day out. I want to recuperate, repair myself, incorporate some carbs, which I'm really happy about that. Um, I'm not going to be doing some stupid carb intake. I'm going to be doing something like sweet potatoes uh, and rice cakes, some peanut butter, uh, maybe a little bit of walnuts. I'll have to see. But because when I had some walnuts, I looked really good for some reason. I don't know why. But. At the end of the day, I gotta be smart with what I'm doing right now. I don't wanna hurt myself, injure myself, and that's why I'm doing full body, and also you wanna activate every muscle to maintain it. Um, I could show you guys a bit, but like, ugh. Like, I'm feeling skinny. It's not the best lighting, but. Can't even flex right now, honestly, guys. Can't flex, but. I'm gonna check my weight. That's what I wanna do right now, I wanna check my weight. Okay guys, so it says here 151.4 Now, I did eat a lot, a lot last night, so 151.4 I'm really, really happy with. I mean, this Friday, it was either Friday, no, it was Friday. Friday I weighed 154 pounds, this is 151.4. Um, and I still have to eat breakfast, I still have to do a couple things. I'm not going to do fasted cardio today, I don't know if I explained that already. Um, because I'm so sore, my calves are really sore. And the last thing you want to do is just over sore yourself, if that makes sense. Like, make the muscles have to take longer to repair themselves. That's a little bit better of explanation. Anyways, I got some dishes here. I got my protein shake, stuff to clean all that. Still have homework to do. I'm writing down literally my peak week, so I never forget exactly what I did for every single prep. Um, and I think this is my best prep so far because I maintained as much muscle but still cut down to extent where it's 151.4. I don't even think last competition I was 151.4. But the thing is, I'm coming in bigger, but leaner. So the weight's going to be roughly the same, if that makes sense. Because I'll be a lower body fat percentage, but I'll be... So, so this is where I was last comp. I'll be lower body fat percentage, but I'll be higher weight when it comes to muscle. So the weight on the scale is going to be roughly the same. But 151.4, that's really light <laughs> but I think and I, I don't think I know I'm bringing 100% to this to this competition and and the thing is you might say ah it's so light why are you why are you going in so light trust me guys the first thing judges are gonna look at is your conditioning when you're more conditioned not only okay when you're conditioned it's going to bring out that vascularity, it's going to bring out the muscularity, it's going to bring out the roundness in your muscles in general. So if anything, that's that's a good thing to come in shredded. Now, if you're coming in shredded but you do not have muscle, keep that in mind. That's going to be tougher for you to stand out. Despite being really shredded, you still have to come in there with some muscle. Pack on some muscle before you even go on stage, before you even decide to. Because going on stage and not having... Like, it's it's nice to go on stage to have, like, a set goal. Like, I, I understand for people that have a set goal. But if, you're, if your set goal is to win and not, like, just come in there to have a transformation, then you should come in there with some muscle. Now, if you tr come in there just for a transformation, I understand. And I, I, and good for you. You know, that's, that's awesome, I think. Um, it's amazing when you see such amazing transformations throughout all this time. I meet new people. Uh, like I said, last competition, someone lost 54 freaking pounds. How the heck do you lose 54 freaking pounds? I've lost a lot of pounds, like weight before, 35 pounds, 20, 25. This one was, I think, 22 so far. No, it's definitely 24. Still a lot. But anyways, 54 pounds for a competition, that's, that's awesome. I said to the guy, you know, 
it's not easy. Not anyone could do that. So it was good on him. Um, but I just want to talk a little bit about that. I'm really, actually, I'm really happy about that weight. It's Monday. Still got a bit more. My weight will drop once I start uh, dropping down water a bit. But other than that, you know, <laughs> it's uh, it's it's gonna be a good run, guys. It's definitely gonna be a good run. Update. Okay, this is way overexposed. But if I zoom in, it should help. <sighs> Bam. Five days. Oh, yeah, it's way too exposed. Uh, when I say exposed, guys, it means like like I look really white. And I am not white. I'm like tanned. <laughs> so let's see here. Bam! That's how it goes. We gotta make some breakfast now. I'm fooling around too much. Gotta make some breakfast. Okay guys, I know, I know, it's it's the same thing. Yes, four eggs with some salt and two cups of coffee in a bowl that I can't find the other bowl for, so we're using this bowl. Two cups of coffee, black coffee, and four eggs. We're watching some Christian Guzman eating my second meal of the day. It's gonna be for the next two more meals anyways. What I do with this chicken, um, that's mixed veggies by the way, and this chicken I just cut it up with scissors. Now I've been watching lots of, uh, let me switch this over. I've been watching lots of um, Buzzfeed and they've been doing lots of Korean stuff and I noticed and they noticed, they're like, yeah, so you guys use scissors for almost everything, hey? Like when it comes to food. Um, and it's funny because like some of this food is like very, very expensive food, but they still use scissors to like make it more efficient. So I use, I've been doing that recently and honestly it's been so much better having the chicken in smaller pieces, you know, it's more satisfying than just having one piece or one chicken breast. Uh, it, it definitely, I don't know, it, for, for me it's a way more satisfying, it's very simple and it's, it is efficient, honestly, just using scissors, kind of obviously use certain scissors, you know, don't just use some Crayola or whatever they're called, scissors for kids, <laughs> just use some regular scissors, um, clean it up, and you know, it, it makes it, it makes it more efficient, that's just what I've been doing, so, a uh, little tip for you guys. Here at the Campbell Center to do my polygraph test. The polygraph test is a lie detector test, pretty much to check if you're taking any steroids, juice, because this is a natural, oh my gosh, this is a natural competition, so I'll see you guys right after the polygraph test. Here, I should take my phone out and turn that off. Okay, so I'm gonna come over there, I'm gonna put the apparatus on you and we'll get started. Are you sure? So, I'll start by putting these things around your body. This one's gonna go around your stomach. Yeah. So just lean forward a little bit, Michael. Lift up your arms. I'm gonna do this up on your side. Just a little like that, thank you. Yeah. This next one goes higher up on top of your chest. Yeah. Ten of turns are up high for me. I'm going to do this thing back. Oh, okay. sorry. I'm just going to do this up with your arm. Can you go ahead and turn it down? I'm going to put this on your left hand. Okay. So one on your index finger and the other one on your right finger. Okay guys, so I just finished the polygraph test, so now we are done for that and oh, four or five days? Yeah, five days out, today's Monday. So we're gonna see how it goes now. Five days, I'm excited. I think I'm, I, I brought a definitely a good package and you know, I don't have any regrets for what I did, for anything I've done, so right now it's looking good. I just gotta get my car here, <laughs> give me a second. Having here 40 grams of walnuts and about I'd say 100 grams of mixed berries, so it's going to be a good amount of carbs here. 
um, you know, it's okay to have a little bit here and there, especially with how cut down I am right now. My body needs food, and that's the main thing. Anyways, um, the polygraph test was really fun, you know, it's typical polygraph. You can't really say it's really fun, you know, it's just kind of process you have to go through. Um, this is my third one so far. Uh, this is to make sure everyone is natural and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's pretty, pretty basic, you know, they're gonna ask questions like if you're taking stuff, you know, um, if you're trying to affect the uh, competition negatively and, and, and pretty generalized questions. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and get Aesthetic Bruh.